I'm Walt Mossberg. Shut up! Today I'm going to read viewer mail because I'm contractually obligated to pretend to care what you think sometimes. Richard Fetter from Fort Lee, New Jersey writes, Dear Walt, I'm using an older Dell computer running Windows ME. Should I consider upgrading to a new machine with Windows 7? No, you should consider putting a shotgun in your face and blowing your brains out, you hick. What's wrong? Were you too busy buggering goats for the past ten years to notice the slow march of human progress away from that piece of crap OS? They make toilets for inside your house now, too. Did you know that? Good lord, I'm glad that's over with. What? Three? Well, I could barely get through one of those bastards. There's no way I'm going to... No! No, 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 no! Fine, Catherine. I'll read all three. You know, I dream about stapling your thumbs together, Catherine. Yeah, big hardware staples. Jesus. Dale T. from Amarillo, Texas says, Dear Walt. Oh, well, that's very original. Amarillo, Texas. Dear Walt, I want to take my contacts from a Palm Trio and import them to Microsoft Outlook and then bring them over to my Google Android phone on a Linux netbook. Can you help? Dale, my advice is this. Call David Pug. That pansy knows how to do useless shit like this. Maybe he'll even make one of his little... You know what? Screw it. Screw it! I'm not even gonna finish making fun of the little hemorrhoid. Next! Michael A. from Atherton, California writes, Dear Walt, most journalists who host tech conferences just get paid a small fee. But in your case, with the All Things D conference, you actually keep a huge share of the profits. Basically, you make a million dollars a year by hosting this conference and getting all the companies you cover to send their CEOs to appear on stage with you. Isn't this just a way for you to get these companies to indirectly line your pockets, presumably so they can get more favorable coverage from you in your Wall Street Journal column? Doesn't this raise some ethical issues? Oh, would you look at that. Someone named Michael A. sends me a highly critical note right after I slam Michael Arrington in public. Satan's balls, who could it be? I'll have to put my detective cap on to find out. Now where could it be? Oh, I found it! Now you're listening to me, you arrogant little peon. The very idea of you scolding anyone for their journalism ethics is like Charles Manson giving child care advice. Arrington, you functional illiterate. You waste of sperm. You charge people to contend parties in your own house. You charge PR flax to give you head, and you charge your interns to film it. I am the pinnacle of ethical behavior. I am beyond reproach. And if you ever talk crap like that to me again, I am going to shove your crunch pad so far up your ass, people will think you're a goddamn Best Buy. My producer says to thank you for all of your questions, because it'll make me seem more approachable. Shut up.